Hello, so let's continue our discussion, but first let's have a review of what we take up in part one of cost concept and classification. First, we define, no, and we use two words in the definition. What again is those two words of costs? No, oi, ano sinagot niya? Huh? Resources. Yeah, relates, related siya sa resources. Resources given up. Diba? Or sacrifice. And the one that you had given up may, the one that you sacrifice may either be money or ano, promises. And that's why kaya pag money, kas base we call it expenditure and this one will be accrual base and this we call it obligation so whether you like it or not your finance will be affected because cash is involved no when you talk about uh, your uh, definition of cost no then in order for you to classify no uh, the most important in the concept is first the object and the driver we know that the object is the one that affects assignment and driver is the one that affects behavior so sabi natin inuuna ang object sinusunod ang driver and besides kita nyo oh, ab diba mm. so pinag-usapan natin yung basis and based on our discussion last time, the basis are, oh, eto yan, yung diniscuss natin. Nasa number two pa lang tayo. Okay? Um, yung una natin ginawa ay based on time. So, let's continue with number two. Let's expound this. Okay? Um, kasi, pag, pag tinignan nyo itong natural classification, ang dami na, oh, pra, period, product, manufacturing, and also, pwede rin siyang tinatawag na functional kapag ka we relate it to what? To the product. Okay? Tapos, pagka sa period sa iba, inire-relate to sa FS classification. Diba? O, ngayon, ano yung iba pa na pwede? Meron pa ba kayong ibang naiisip na tawag sa product cost? Meron pa ba? Sige nga, mag-isip kayo. Mm -hmm. Inventoryable cost. Okay? Yun yung ibang. Eh, ma, bakit inventoryable? Eh, yun know, na nyo, eto, oh. Balance sheet. Kaya nga, ano yung mga nakalagay na part ng product cost pag sa balance sheet? Raw materials, work in process, finished goods. ba? Eh kasi dito, pag sa income statement, ano lang siya? Cost of sale. Mm. Nakita niya relasyon. Ay sana naman. ba? Kasi, ah, kaya ang ginamit natin ay manufacturing, Kasi pag service sector, at saka sa merchandising, uh, very, very simple ang kanilang cost structure. As is where isang merchandising, eh, ba? O, tas intangible naman kasi yung product ng, ng service. So, kaya, uh, crucial na uh, mai-relate natin dito. Okay? Mm. If we already look into the natural classification, which relates to the functional and uh, classification uh, based on uh, uh, financial statement, ano pa'y pwede niyong isipin dito sa period? No? Relationship. Eh, ano na lang. Ihiwalay na lang natin. O, dito na tayo. Ano pwede niyong isipin? Kapag, ka, o, di number three na tayo. Relationship with accounting period. Hindi na period cost. <laughs> Namin kalisal pang period. Ano sa tingin nyo? P 
pwedeng short term, pwedeng long term. Anong tawag sa cost? Pag, pag related sa accounting period na short term. Ito yung sa revenue classification. ba? Diba? Ng cost. Tapos ito yung sa capital expenditure. Eh, actually, pwede nyo i-relate doon sa ano natin eh. Yung, ito, yung drawing natin na to. ba? Diba? Expired. Tsaka, an, expired. Yung sa balance sheet, tsaka sa income statement. Kasi, yung sa expired, kaya mo na lamang expired, ito yung pinagbasihan nyo dyan. Revenue classification, no? Revenue expenditure. Tapos, sa iba, tawag dito, revenue. Kaya lang kasi, ano, nakakalito, di ba? Revenue expenditure. Kaya lang, may mga, may mga book kasi nakalagay. And then, capital expenditure basis. Pag saan? Expired. Pag relationship with uh, accounting period. No? E, eh, ano pa pwede nating isipin? Pagdating sa classification. O, eh, pinag-usapan na natin kagina, no? Pusahin na, based on behavior. ba? Diba? Ano yan? Tatlo lang. Variable, fix, mix. Pwede nyo i-relate ito sa product ko, si. Eh. Laging ang variable, DM at saka DL. No? Tapos, yung fix depende sa cost driver. At kaya kayo merong mix cost no? Eh, hindi naman naiiwasan yung, kita nyo nga, binabayaran yung kuryente, mix cost yun, di ba? Gamitin mo o hindi yung kuryente mo, merong fix portion. Tapos, habang dumadami, yun magiging variable, o di kaya naging mix. Kaya, meron kayong cost estimation technique. Kasi, kailangan nyo na uh, i, i, alamin, no? kung alin ang variable portion at saka uh, fixed portion at yung factory overhead sa product cost mix yan meron diyan uh, mas marami diyan yung mix cost kaya ini-estimate mo siya okay sa behavior okay o tatlo lang yan ha o ano pa yung susunod natin it would depend on traceability at yung traceability, dito papasok yung object. Either direct or indirect. Kaya kita nyo nga, direct materials, direct labor. At yung factory overhead mo ay indirect. So, ang direct, obvious naman, tawag niya direct materials, direct labor. Tapos yung factory overhead mo, indirect. Dahil may indirect ka, may tinatawag tayong assignment ng cost. Kung walang indirect, well, hindi ka mag-a-assign ng cost. Hindi nyo pag-aaralan yung cost assignment technique. ba? Diba? Ay, ma'am, ano yung cost assignment technique? Ay, yun ang sasagutin nyo na experience point. Okay? Mm. So, pinag-usapan natin yung sa behavior, pinag-usapan natin yung sa traceability. Eh, eh, eh bakit nga ba? Eh, bakit nga ba? kailangan natin ng uh, ng uh, pag classify ng cost. Alam niyo na yung sasagot niyo doon? Sige nga, isipin niyo yung sagot niyo. Decision making, relevance, di ba? Mm. O di, nakailan na tayo? Lima. O, putan tayo sa pang-anim. Ano pa'y pwede? Decision making. Sabi ko lang, planning. Ano-ano yung mga related dyan? Una, opportunity cost. Kasi yung opportunity cost ay ito yung for gun benefits nyo. Kangina, nasagot ko na yung uh, pangalawa, sunk cost. It relates to the past. One na, pag, at saka ito, eh, madalas irrelevant sa decision making. Ano pa? Ito, relevant to. Differential cost. Yung nababago. ba? Diba? Ano pa? Ano pa yung naisip nyo? Na related dito. 
ay di relevant cause. Mami, ito ba matitake up natin? Partly, no? But, uh, our, hanggang term 2, yung classification ng 1 to 5 ang makaka-apekto sa atin. Hanggang term 2. And partly, itong mga to, nasa term 3 na siya. No? Partly. Yeah. O, ano pa? Controllability of cause. Pa, pwede ba yan pumasok sa decision making? Pwede. Pwede mo rin namang ihiwalay siya, number 7. Whether it is controllable or uh, uncontrollable. Ganon. Tapos, di ba napag-aralan nyo din sa cost accounting yung joint cost, common cost. O, yun, pwede nyo pagsamahin yun. Okay? So, ito yung, ito yung mga common. May, uh, na, pag sa decision, ay, meron pa rin pala, out of packet cost. Meron din yung imputed cost. Although, there are other costs, no? What I made mention are one that would uh, somehow uh, normally uh, you'll be uh, encountering. No? Yung, yung madalas, yung, alam mo naman, pag madalas, o di yan. O, ito yung madalas. Okay? So, kung alam na natin yung concept, yung classification, Diba sabi ko, may, uh, lagi bang may adjective yung cost? Oo. Ano yun? Diba laging may naka na word? Product. Cost. Period. Cost. O yung product, yung period, yun yung adjective nyo. Direct. Cost. Indirect. Cost. O diba? Lagi may nauuna. Fixed cost. Variable cost. Mixed cost. O yun. Yun yung, yun yung pinaka-adjective nyo. Eh, Ma'am, o di ngayon, alam na namin yung, yung ibang mga, mga term. Eh, papasok kayo dun sa yung standard, actual, patited, o type ng cost din yan. Saan to pumapasok? Uy, saan to pumapasok? O, meron pang, tagdagan natin, normal. Hmm. <laughs> Standard costing, actual costing, normal costing, or standard cost, hindi costing. Dapat iba na yun pag pinasok ko na yung salitang costing. Yan. Naku, importante, apat na yan. Dahil naaapektuhan niya yung inyong costing systems. Ah, so, pag kinlasify ko pala yung cost, pwede ko rin pagbasihan yung costing system. Kung actual ba yung ginagamit, Standard ba o normal? O, eh, lahat to pinag-aralan nyo, no? Sa cost accounting. Sa cost accounting. Kasi, di ito nakapali... Di ito naka... Nakalibot yan. Sa tatlo na yan. Yan. No? Yan inyong... Uh, actual normal standard. Na... Naaapektuhan ni... Ito. Naka, ito yung pinaka-input nyo dyan. No? Kapag ka nagno-normal costing ka at kapag ka nag-i-standard costing ka. No, si budget and cost. Okay. Eh, ano naman yung susunod namin concern? Kung alam na namin yung concept and classification. Nako, eh, ang iisipin mo na ngayon, cost control, cost reduction, at yung isang pinag-usapan natin, cost management. Okay? O, oh, define nyo bawat isa na to, ha? Magiging, ano nyo yan? Mm. So, let me end at this point. Um, but you have to uh, remember that cost is about, all about what? There will always be a different cause for different purposes so we should know what an adjective what the adjective is and dahil ito ay accounting then time is crucial when we are looking at cost is the output with us is decision and if if decision is the output then uh, really you have to be conscious with time because we only have 24-7. But you have your time here. Okay? Ano ilalagay natin dito sa dalawa na to? 
kapag uh, ang usapan natin ay uh, yaang uh, cost. Naisip niyo ba? O ano pwede natin ilagay? O tingnan natin sa susunod nating mga pag-uusapan. Pero, oh, ano nang, paano natin ipapasok yung tools, input, process, output. Ano naging input natin dito sa cost concept and classification? Anong tools ang gagamitin natin sa classification? Mm-hmm. Ang tools na gagamitin natin sa classification is knowing what an object is and what a driver is. Definitely, the input will be the activities performed by the organization which is actually transactions. The process will be what? Classification. Okay. And what will be the output? Decisions. No? Uh, if you are in strategic cost management. But if you are in cost accounting, this will be your either okay, either recording, classifying, and summarizing. Because decision will be related already to interpreting. So, ang strategic ay Again, uh, maapektuhan niya yung decision making. Okay? Pero whether you like it or not, we need to uh, have the result from cost accounting. Okay? Thank you and good day.